you don't have to keep exporting and going back and then your computer crashes and then your computer blows up and then it gets super hot and then your apartment goes on fire and then all those <laughs> emotional damage So if you're an architect, if you're a designer, urban planner, if you're an interior designer, landscape architecture, you're gonna wanna watch this video because honestly, things are changing so fast in our field that you have to keep up with what's going on. And a lot of things are actually going digital, a lot of things are going 3D and the innovations are moving very, very fast with the market. A lot of that has to do with rendering and actually getting people to see what you're designing and presenting it in the best way with graphic communication. So I'm Nate Robert Aze. I'm an entrepreneur and designer. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three rendering softwares that every designer, architect, whatever you are, should know how to use to propel you in your career. And even if you don't really know how to do all the technical stuff in those software, you wanna learn how to use it at least a little bit. So if you're in a position of leadership, you can know what to tell other people and you can guide them on how you wanna create the best output as possible. So what is architectural rendering software and what is its purpose? So an architectural rendering software allows you to create two and three dimensional images of an architectural design and they help you to really understand the design to another level. When most people who aren't in our field think of architectural design, they think of things like floor plans, which we call floor plans, but they call blueprints. But architectural rendering softwares allow us to get them to see it as something different. In essence, it helps us to communicate the architecture and allow for them to visualize it and bring it to life. And then internally, designers are able to actually see things in the design that they weren't able to see in the plans from these architectural rendering softwares because it allows us to visualize some of the problems as well in the design so we can fix them early on. These software are very useful for designers. So just to summarize why you need renderings and rendering software, first of all, it creates a unified vision not only between between the architect or the designer, but between the stakeholders or whoever is actually seeing the designs, whether that's future users, future residents of the area, or people who are going to invest in the deal or things of that nature. It also creates a solid foundation for the design. As we all know, design and infrastructure is expensive. So you wanna get out all those problems and things of that nature early on, and visualization helps you to be able to do that. And then lastly, it also helps with marketing. Architects, developers, cities, designers, whoever you are, showcasing your projects in a very artistic and realistic way really helps for people to take you seriously and understand that you really care about showcasing your work. So me of all people, why am I qualified to talk about this? So I actually own a company called RenderVision. It is an ArchViz company that we actually create renderings, animations, and VR stuff for all types of developers all over the country, in Canada, and really all, all over the world, honestly. We've created thousands of renderings, different styles, different sectors, different verticals. We've also worked with over 150 clients just helping them to bring their visions to life. Me personally, I've been doing this for a while. I started off in high school, messing with SketchUp and just understanding visualization. Fast forward to my professional career, I was doing visualization for two architecture firms that I worked for, also for a city that I worked for during my internship. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the actual software. So the first software is Unreal Engine 5. And the reason why I picked this one first is because there's been a whole bunch of buzz around this software and how it's one of the best architectural rendering softwares out there. So it's a real-time engine that's actually created by Epic Games, and it can be used to not only create amazing architectural visualization and renderings animations and things of that nature but it also is used to create interactive visualization experiences and so that's one of the reasons why I picked this one first is because we all know where things are going things are going to web 3 so those interactive experiences with things like you know these VR glasses and things of that nature are going to become more prevalent in the architectural space so if you didn't know Unreal Engine 5 has been used for games like Fortnite the new Spider-Man game, also Lord of the Rings. There's a whole bunch of games that actually use Unreal Engine. At RenderVision, my company, we're still learning the software. We want to use it primarily throughout our operations, but we're still kind of getting to learning the ropes. So the cost of Unreal Engine is actually free, and that's the cool thing about it. 
unless if you're creating a game that is going to be licensed. In that case, they actually charge you a 5% royalty fee. And that's only if it passes $3,000 in revenue per quarter. So obviously one of the pros of Unreal Engine 5 is it's cheaper. Like I said, the renderings are in real time, so it takes away a lot of that time that is used to actually render the views because it's already rendering in real time. So you basically kind of like screenshot it in any quality that you want to screenshot it in. It's super high quality as well. It has functionality. One is called Lumen that allows for you to explore different types of light that are very close to photorealistic lighting. And also another thing called Nanite that allows for you to approach different surfaces and things of that nature. And it increases the quality of geometries. So the level of detail on, let's say, very rigid surfaces is very, very, very high. And some of the cons, obviously because it wasn't created just for architectures, it's a little bit less intuitive. So there's a big learning curve in terms of learning the workflow and how to actually use it to create architectural visualization. And then it also requires a pretty high-end computer with a high-end graphics card to actually run the software to its fullest potential. So let's get into the second one, and that is one that I truly love, Lumion, or Lumion, however you wanna say it. Everybody says it's different. So Lumion is a software that actually pretty intuitive and very, very reliable. And it's also very fast when it comes to the renderings. It fits pretty much seamlessly within any design workflow. You can use SketchUp, you can use Revit, you can use Rhino and all those things. And it, it syncs up with those softwares very, very well. And there's actually a pretty satisfying and enjoyable workflow or experience while you're using the software because the UI is pretty good. This is a software that I've been able to pretty much master over my years of doing this. And we use it at Render Vision a lot. Primarily we use it because of the level of detail that you're able to get if you're pretty skilled at using it. And then also the rendering times are decent depending on if you're making an animation video or an actual just rendering. So like I said, some of the pros are that it's very, very intuitive, especially for designers. It's compatible with different other softwares that we use. They have something called Live Sync to where if you're syncing up with SketchUp, it actually allows you to edit in real time, which is huge when it comes to a rendering software. You don't have to keep exporting and going back and then your computer crashes and then your computer blows up and then it gets super hot and then your apartment goes on fire and then all those. <laughs> Emotional, damn it! They also have a good asset library of animals, uh, people, cars, trees, and textures and stuff like that. And you can also import your own textures and it makes it look super realistic, just depending on the quality. Some cons though, it can get really slow if you're using a smaller graphics card and that makes it very time consuming to use a software actually. And also they come out with like a new version every single year so and you have to pay to kind of like upgrade and it's pretty pricey it's about i think it's like three thousand two hundred dollars or something like that with tax to use it to buy the software and yeah that's a lot of money if you're not like a firm that's making a lot of money already it's tough to actually buy that but they do have a free version for students it's kind of limited though and also they don't have a monthly subscription which i would have loved because we could have just paid month by month and use it as we need to use it so moving on to number three twin motion Twin Motion is an amazing software that I've been hearing a lot of people rave about. I've dibbled and dabbled into it. I'm not that great at it yet, but I'm still learning it. But it's actually an award-winning 3D real-time immersion software that allows for you to create renderings, animations, VR, and immersive walkthroughs. Also, I added this to the list because Zaha Hadid Architects, which is one of my favorite architecture firms, uses this software on some of their projects at least. So another thing, let me know in the comments if you all want me to make a video about what type of systems I'm running, what type of graphics card, the laptop I'm using and all those things, let me know. So Twin Motion costs about 500 bucks a year. And the only cons that I can see that people are saying is the photorealism. It's a bit less photorealistic than all the other softwares that we use. And so that just means you have to get more heavy on the post-processing in either Photoshop or any other software that you put it in afterwards to add entourage or add more textures or add more materiality, things of that nature. Speaking of entourage, I actually have an entourage pack that I just released. It will make your life so easier in terms of putting in entourage and things of that nature to your renderings. And it's tough sometimes when you're creating a rendering and you have to pick 
pick and pull trees and people and cars and things from all types of different places. I have just condensed them all in one. So if you check out the description, you'll see a link that actually takes you to Gumroad where I have all those things compiled. You can just get it and download it and you're good. I wish I would have had that when I was in college because it would take me literally hours to pull stuff from all over the place. So check it out. So I wanted to give you guys a bonus software that I use. And I've talked about it a few times, but that software is SketchUp. SketchUp, it's a software that allows you to create 3D objects in a 2D environment. It's good for just getting ideas out. And that's what I use it for even up to this day. I discovered it back in high school where I was just modeling and messing around with it but it's almost like my second brain. While I'm you know, sketching or doing whatever I'm doing, I can just throw whatever I'm sketching in there, see it to scale, kind of do some measurements and things of that nature. So the reason why I think it's really cool is it's super intuitive. Like it's like paint almost, but for 3D. So even if you're a beginner or you're an expert, it's for all levels. So it's a great place to start for anyone who is thinking about getting into design. And we also still use it as my at my company at RenderVision. A lot of the modeling that we do for the, our projects goes into SketchUp and then it's exported into Lumion or other softwares that we use. Some of its biggest pros are its 3D library. It's like an open source library where people can create models and actually put their models in the warehouse. And you can pull from those, put them in your model and create whatever you wanna create pretty much. SketchUp is always growing and changing as well. They have a thing called Podium, which now allows for you to render out your SketchUp views and then also this thing that allows you to do sort of like a test fit study and sun study and all those types of things. It has where you can pull geolocations for places and pull them into your models and actually have the 3D models around the space that you're getting ready to de design and stuff like that. It's a really powerful tool. So I would definitely check it out. Also wanted to give you guys some resources that I use and that I've used to actually get where I'm at right now when it comes to learning about architectural visualization. The first one is called the Rendering Essentials and I have the link actually in the description as well. This guy is amazing. He's very, very, very detailed when it comes to talking about these softwares and how to use them, different hotkeys, different shortcuts and things like that. He knows what he's talking about. There's also another guy on Instagram named Leo Ramos. I have his stuff in the description as well. This guy is a Lumion whiz. Like this guy is really, really good at Lumion. So definitely check him out. And so to close out this video, I just wanna say this, you know, yes, learning these types of softwares can be a bit tough, I'm not gonna lie to you and say, oh, it's super easy to use these softwares. But let me tell you, at the end of the day, you're gonna get your results. If you're looking to move up in the company that you're already in, if you're looking to add a new service to your business, if you're looking to communicate to your clients a bit better, the hard work and patience that it's going to take to learn these softwares is definitely gonna pay off for you. And it's also gonna help you to be competitive and relevant in the marketplace. Like I said earlier, things are changing. When I was working at my job, I got a challenge actually from one of my supervisors to do visualization for the next project we were actually working on. At the time we were shopping out some renderings to a rendering company like the one I have now. And I just wanted to make myself more valuable by showing them that we could do them in house. So I took about two months and I learned SketchUp to another level. And then I also learned Lumion, which actually helped me to propel my career. And so in about two months, I went from like a rendering like this to being able to create scenes like this. And obviously, you know, my employers were really happy with me. I started moving up in the company and I started doing even better within my professional career. So the stuff works, man. If it worked for me, it can definitely work for you. That's just one example of what it can do for a company, but I'm sure that your impact will be greater in however you utilize these new skills. So what were your takeaways from this video? What softwares are you currently using? Are there any that I missed? I wanna dialogue with you all, so leave me a comment in the comment section. If you think someone else could benefit from this, go ahead and share it with them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content like this. So once again, I'm Nate Robert Aze, and thank you so much for watching this video. Peace.